Hello friends, uh, today I am discussing about energy level diagram for the atomic molecular orbitals. Also we uh, call, uh, we can say uh, it a uh, uh, molecular orbital diagram, okay. So uh, I have some trick, I will tell you that tricks. So uh, first, uh, first is for lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen for these uh, molecules. I have one trick, uh, this is 2 1 2 1 and for uh, second uh, which uh, is for oxygen molecule fluorine molecule and neon molecule it uh, it has trick uh, one two two one okay so uh, uh, we have to take example from first uh, we will take uh, nitrogen as example and in second we will take uh, oxygen as examples okay so in this um, uh, we have, first we have to write uh, electronic configuration of nitrogen so now what is uh, uh, atomic number of nitrogen we all know uh, nitrogen's atomic number is seven so what is uh, first we have to write electronic configuration uh, 1s2 2s2 2p3 okay so uh, after that uh, we have to draw molecular orbital diagram so how to draw molecular orbital diagram so uh, we all know uh, uh, we all know what two uh, uh, s uh, atomic orbital come first. Why it come first? Uh, because one s atomic orbital uh, do not participate in molecular orbital diagram. Okay. Why it is not participate? Because one s is uh, very close to nucleus. Okay. And it does not involve in molecular orbital. And it will represent as k k. Okay. So k. <coughs> it will represent as k. Uh, and uh, we uh, now I am starting to draw molecular orbital diagram so first is for 2s we have to write 2s In this this is a uh, 2s is atomic orbital okay and this uh, 2s is also atomic orbital and we have to fill electrons and uh, uh, we all know in one atomic orbital we can uh, fill only two electrons in opposite spin why in opposite spin we have why in opposite spin because it produce uh, less repulsion and uh, it is very stable in opposite spin so we have to uh, uh, fill electrons in opposite spin and um, uh, in molecular orbital diagram uh, first we have to write sigma 2s and this is a bonding molecular orbital and this is antibonding orbital uh, sorry antibonding molecular orbital and antibonding molecular orbital are represent as a star okay so this is sigma star 2s and this is for 2s atomic orbital now we'll draw for 2p atomic orbital okay this is 2p in p orbitals here in there are three orbitals and in this three 2p okay so after that uh, now in this we will we have to apply trick okay so in this um, this is an example of uh, first now so uh, this is nitrogen molecule so nitrogen molecule uh, here trick is 2 1 2 1 so uh, here we have to take two orbitals okay and here is one orbital and here is two orbital this is antibonding orbital and this is uh, this is also antibonding in a uh, higher energy there is a um, antibonding orbital and in lower energy there is a uh, lower and a bonding molecular orbital okay
now what uh, we have to write uh, this uh, so this is uh, pi to px because it is in pair okay so pi to px which uh, is lat v which uh, we uh, lat this is lateral overlapping so uh, this is pi orbital okay which is uh, always in pair and um, this is sigma to pz and uh, after that uh, uh, pi star to px which is anti-bonding or molecular orbital and this is pi star to py and this is sigma star to pz okay so now what uh, uh, we have to do after this we have to fill electrons so in this um, in this uh, nitrogen uh, uh, this is uh, 1s2 is represented by k because uh, i told you reason before and uh, now we have to fill 2s2 electron so in this uh, the, uh, for this atomic orbital 2 electron this atomic orbital 2 electron and in this uh, two, in 2p orbital we have to fill 3 electrons 1 2 3 one two three and in this um, uh, orbitals we have to fill electron by pairing okay one two three four five six here is one two three four five six so we have to fill this first we have to i forgot to fill this so yeah so this is a uh, um, molecular this is the molecular orbital diagram for <coughs> nitrogen molecule okay this is the uh, molecular orbital diagram of uh, nitrogen molecule now i will tell you how to uh, how to calculate bond order okay so what is the formula of bond order bond uh, do you know about bond order what is bond order like uh, in between this uh, molecule in the, between this molecule there are three bonds we all know nitrogen has three bonds so how to calculate uh, nitrogen has three bonds so three is the bond order okay how many bonds are present in that molecule or in that diatomic molecule so it will tell about um, it will tell about bond order okay so what is the formula of bond order bond order is equal to a uh, number of bonding bonding electrons minus number of anti bonding anti bonding electrons divided by 2 is equal to a uh, number of bonding electrons how to draw, uh, how to calculate number of bonding electrons okay so in this we all know these are these uh, um, in lower energies all are bonding molecular orbitals and uh, we, uh, uh, orbitals which are represented by star they are anti-bonding molecular orbitals so uh, first we have to draw uh, we have to calculate bonding electrons so this is one two three four five six seven eight how many electrons uh, of bonding eight electrons of bonding and minus number of antibonding electrons uh, how many antibonding electrons are present antibonding only two antibonding uh, electrons so how to calculate antibonding electrons which are represented by star so these are two electrons divided by two uh, how, what we get uh, six by two which is three so how uh, how many bonds we have to write between our uh, nitrogen nitrogen have three bonds okay so we can we can calculate bond order yeah now i will uh, tell you how to write uh, electron configuration for nitrogen molecule okay so how we write uh, electronic configuration for molecule first uh, one s electron two one s electron will represent by k shell so, uh, sorry represent by k 
after that we have to feel uh, we fill electron like this so from lower energy to higher energy we have to write the electronic configuration first is a uh, sigma 2s sigma 2s after that sigma star 2s after sigma star 2s uh, pi 2px after that pi 2py after that sigma 2pz so in this uh, how many electrons 1 2 so we will fill 1 2 here 1 2 and uh, in pi 2px orbital there are two electrons pi 2py there are two electrons and in pi uh, sigma 2pz there are two electrons so uh, we completed a uh, uh, molecular orbital diagram for nitrogen molecule after that we will see uh, o2 we will see uh, this molecule uh, oxygen molecule so here trick is 1 2 2 1 so how to draw molecular orbital diagram for oxygen molecule i will tell you so here we will write oxygen molecule so first we have to write electronic configuration and we all know oxygen atomic number is 8 so we have to write electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p4 okay so uh, now we will what we will do uh, we will write uh, we will molecular orbital diagram okay so first uh, this one s electron will represent by k and uh, now we will uh, draw molecular orbital diagram for oxygen molecule this is 2s and this is 2s so after that what is the trick uh, 1 2 2 1 okay for uh, oxygen neon and fluorine molecules so we will this is 1 2 2 1 now so this is first we have to write this one this is 2p after that one here is two orbitals here is two orbitals and here is one orbital okay So now uh, what we have to do, we have to fill electrons, okay. So, so uh, when S is represented by K, we all know. After that in 2S atomic orbital, how many electrons are there? 2 electrons, okay. And we have tricks so we can calculate easily. So after that uh, 2S, there, in 2P atomic orbital, how many electrons? 4 electrons. So one, we have to fill electrons 1, 2, 3, 4 one two three and four okay after that we have to fill here also one two three four five six seven and eight and in the here one two three four we have to write this is sigma 2s this is antipony and molecular orbital so we will write sigma star 2s this is uh, sigma um ha, uh, this is one orbital now one orbital always uh, sigma so we, this this point we have to know uh, one orbital is always sigma so this is sigma 2pz this is p orbital and this is sigma star 2pz and this is a uh, two orbital that's why this is pi 2p pi 2 
px and this is pi 2py and this is pi star 2px and this is pi star 2py uh, star orbitals are represented by our uh, antiponding molecular orbitals and uh, with normal like uh, sigma 2s uh, sigma pi 2px pi 2py are bonding molecular orbitals okay so uh, now first we will write uh, electronic configuration for o2 molecule okay so what is the electronic configuration k k uh, which is uh, a two atomic orbital of 1s after that uh, uh, we have to write for 2s so in this uh, sigma 2s in this orbital how many electrons are there two electrons okay and after that uh, uh, sigma star 2s sigma star 2s in this how many electrons two electrons after that which orbital uh, 2pz sigma 2pz which has two orbitals after that pi 2px pi 2py just two two orbit uh, two two electrons after that pi star 2px which has only one electron and pi star 2py which has only one electron okay so now uh, we will find elect uh, bond order for oxygen molecule so how to find bond order i told you in before example so what is the formula of bond order number of bonding molecular orbital minus number of antibonding molecular orbital divided by two number of uh, how, how to draw how to find number of bonding molecular orbital so this is bonding uh, lower electrons are bonding molecular orbitals so we have to calculate one two three four five six seven eight in this there are eight bonding molecular orbitals minus uh, number of anti-bonding molecular orbitals how many anti-bonding molecular orbitals are present in oxygen molecule one two three four there are four uh, bonding anti-bonding molecular orbitals are present divided by two so 8 minus 4 is 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 so what is the bond order bond order is 2 for oxygen molecule and uh, now we have to tell about a uh, stability uh, how to calculate stability stability if uh, uh, if number of bonding molecular orbital is greater than number of antibonding molecular orbital then it is stable stable molecule okay and if this is first case in second case uh, number of antibonding molecular orbital is greater than number of bonding molecular orbital then it is unstable unstable uh, number of bonding molecule orbital must be must be greater than number of antibonding molecular orbital okay and if uh, uh, in third case if uh, number of bonding molecular orbital is equal to number of antibonding molecular orbital and this is also unstable okay unstable so now i finished uh, this uh, bonding uh, this um, molecular orbital diagrams so thanks for watching thank you